Jones on your England Saxons call up. You must be absolutely delighted. Yeah, I'm pretty chuffed to be, uh, to be fair, but I um, just can't really wait for tomorrow night, really. If I get an opportunity to come on, I'll give it a more. What was it, four years ago when you were 16 and uh, trying to get into county squads and things yeah, like that? About um, four, yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, about four years ago. Um, not, not too far down there, down the road to be fair. Um, no, it's been a bit, bit of a bit of a climb, uh, a rapid climb, I suppose. Um, but no, I've loved every minute of it. I'm grateful for everyone who's helped me to get here. And at the start of the season, obviously Nigel was saying how he really wanted it to be your breakthrough season, but he was careful, mindful of the fact that he didn't want to put too much uh, on your shoulders too soon. But I suppose from your point of view, were you just thinking? Give me as much as you can now. I just want to play. Yeah, absolutely. Nigel, Nigel and the coaches have been uh, great with me. Too fair. They've uh, given me an opportunity, and I've taken it. And they've had uh, they've had faith in me ever since. I suppose, uh, given the game time I've, I've had, and the games I've played in, um, I, I've loved every minute of it. And uh, I, could, I, just, I want more of it. I keep wanting more of it. Um, I hate. I, I'm not a fan of seeing my name not on the team sheet. Uh, it's. It's some, obviously being a young guy, you've got to take, you got to be respectful of other players and what they want. But no, you just keep wanting more and more of it, and I can't wait for the rest of the season. Now. What's this week been like? Uh, getting to grips with the, you know, coming to the, the Saxons camp. Has it, has it felt like much of a step up? Uh, it's a, it's a big step up. Yeah, it's um, everything's a little bit more detailed, a little bit more uh, high pressured situations. Um, but no, again, I've, I think I've taken to it well. Um, Looking forward again. Looking forward to tomorrow night. I can't really wait to be fair. Mm. And uh, a big challenge first up against uh, the Wolfhounds. Obviously, they've got an ex Gloucester guy, Dan Tui, and then there's a lot of experience in there. The two Ulster locks and a uh, big pack. And I suppose, you know, firstly, it, it shows that, that uh, teams and countries take take these fixtures seriously. But secondly, it'll just be a great challenge. It? It'll be a massive challenge. Um, both sides are going to go hammering time at each other, I imagine. Um, but it's again, I just can't, I can't wait to uh, it's uh, what an opportunity it is to play against quite an experienced uh, Irish Wolfhound side uh, with uh, a pretty young, uh, young, uh, I think 24 is the average age, I believe, mm. for the Saxon. But what, uh, what an opportunity we all have uh, to show what we can do. Charlie, um, congratulations on being involved with the Saxons, and no better place to play for you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a bit of a whirlwind few days for me. Um, obviously delighted with the call up and couldn't be happier to be playing at King's Own tomorrow. Obviously, no better way to respond from obviously being omitted from the first squad. Two tries in two games and look back to your best. Yeah, it was it was almost nice to, you know, have that the weight off my shoulders and, and obviously we had a, a few good games with a few good performances with Gloucester and fortunately I was able to, as you say, put in a couple of good performances, get a couple of tries off the back of that. So... Um, it's nice to obviously to, to be back in the mix and to obviously have that recognition. As you bring in a young England Saxon squad uh, to a place that you're quite familiar with. Yeah, the familiarity is going to be going to be great tomorrow. You know, it's nice to just drive two minutes down the road now and come and do do a bit of media and then ten minutes up the road to the hotel for tonight. Um, and obviously tomorrow, warming up, being in the change rooms. You know, it's nice to be at home. Obviously, it'd be fantastic all the home support. I'm sure. Um, and yeah, very exciting squad to be a part of. So hopefully we'll we'll be able to put in a good performance tomorrow night and, and we'll do ourselves do ourselves proud. In recent years, you're you're no stranger to the England setup, and you've obviously had to guide through two of Gloucester's youngest talents in Dan and Elliot. Yeah, obviously Dan and Elliot getting called up for the first time. Um, I've not <laughs> I've not been onto them too much to be fair. I I remember my first involvement with uh, with England, and I was with Simbad. And obviously, Sinbad had been around that setup for about ten years, so I'm not quite as experienced as that. Um, but yeah, you know, it's nice to obviously have those younger guys around uh, and to see them getting rewarded for some good performances for Gloucester. Um, and you know, I wish them all the best, and uh, you know, I hope they see big futures ahead of them. Obviously, the last time the Irish were in town, it was quite a special evening, and it'd be nice to repeat that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For, hopefully, we'll have a, a different result this time. Um, but yeah, it's great, you know, having it was a couple of weeks ago, months was obviously a fantastic atmosphere, fantastic occasion. Um, if it was like that tomorrow, it'd be brilliant. But as I say, with a different result, it would be nice.